happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. Uh, in out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the audio box, RX-2. It's an AM-FM shortwave emergency solar radio. I love this thing. It was so cool. I saw this listing on eBay. It said solar radio. I'm like, hmm, looks interesting. And I clicked the link and I've never seen one before. And I like the, the looks of this radio. We had the gold with the metallic gray. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to get this. And uh, there's another little feature I'm going to show you here on the box, which caught my eye also. So for 17 bucks, here it is. Let's review it. Audio box. There's some bullet points here on the side. Picture the radio. Solar charge. And more stuff with the flashlight. Nice. You got a little diagram with what it can do. Operating instructions right on the side of the box. Right inside here, we got solar radio. And some of the bullet points there too. LED lamp, high sensitivity antenna, auxiliary and jack, black or in metallic gray. And that's the picture I saw too uh, with this big solar panel. I was like, wow, that's like that's the coolest thing. It's like the biggest solar panel on one of my radios to date. So pretty awesome. Flashlight, USB charger. Rechargeable battery, solar charge. Okay, so there you go. Solar radio. Let's go ahead and open this up. See what we get. Cable, radio, and bubble wrap. To the side, we got some looks like instruction manual and empty box. All right, so let's get the instructions first. Pretty basic. I don't think you're going to get too lost. It's very simple. There you go. That's it. And then we get cable. USB variety to charge the internal battery of the radio. You can't wait for the solar to do it. Nice to have. Good setup. And the radio comes in bubble wrap. Tape it up, which is good. Protects it. Go ahead and take that out. Set that down. Here we go. All right, let's go over dimensions here real quick. So we have a six inch length, three and a half inches high, and we have a case depth of two and one quarter inches. <laughs> so if you're holding this, we be rocking, man. <laughs> uh, you know, I have some bigger radios like this. It's just like Age of Giants. Well, this just puts them to shame. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit bigger portable. This isn't going to fit in your pocket probably unless you got huge cargo pants. <laughs> so let's do a little size comparison. I'm going to do it just kind of on a diagonal basis here. Here's a CC pocket next to it. Um, yeah, you could probably put five of those in there. <laughs> Let's see what else. Hey, I have this on my desk today. Look at this. Tiv Dio. I haven't seen him in a while. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> just make, it just makes me laugh, the size difference. And then uh, do we have a deck of cards here? A deck of cards. Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can shuffle them like no one can. <laughs> Yeah, looking pretty dink next to that big radio. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's just bring this down a little further, and we'll go over features of the Audio Box RX-12. All right, so pick this up on the left-hand side of the radio. We have a chrome bezel around an LED light, and this light is really bright, and we're going to showcase that. On top is a switch for that light dedicated on-off. This thing is super intense. This this impressed me so much. I have a lot of emergency radios, and the lights are like real wimpy. Not this bad boy. So let's go ahead and just turn off some lights here. And do a little light test. Okay, turn this on. Yeah, look at this thing. It's just like jamming bright. So I'm going to hold this back about, let's see, I'm about uh, four feet up. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Um, you can see it's just a really good room light. You could use this uh, to find your keys and whatever you need in an emergency. Uh, this is really handy. So uh, let me see here. But video, you know, you can say, hey, does this work? <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, this is really like shining in the room. Makes the whole room light up. I love it. So there you go. Yeah, powerful little light. Nice to have. How long will that last? I don't know. They didn't have anything in there and I haven't tested that yet. But with a 600 milliamp hour battery, I'm guessing is what in here. I can't really open the radio to check. I'm going to say it probably lasts about three to four hours on max brightness like that. That's just a guess, guesstimate. 
All right, so we got that. Uh, the front of the radio has these like little plastic little embellishments. Those aren't Allen head screws. I thought they were to get this radio apart, but it is not. This radio is kind of glued together. So uh, we have a speaker here. Um, the speaker is actually smaller than the speaker grill. It's probably about right to here, which is about two and a quarter inches. It has decent sound. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. The radio sounds really good on here. MP3 playback is, is decent, but uh, I wish it had more bass on MP3s. Uh, here on the front, we do have the MP3 controls. You have pause, play, you have seek back and back selection, seek forward and forward selection. And then we have M for mode, and that's to select the auxiliary in jack here. So if you had your MP3 player plugged in, MP3s are playing, you can just switch that to this device, which is nice. Here we have audio box, we have this RX2, and we have our dial, which is in gold. I love that gold lettering. Really nice. We have AM 513 to 1629, shortwave 7.8 to 16.2, FM 87 to 108. The white indicator there. Um, it's it's really easy to read, pretty easy to tune. I, I dig it. It's really cool. Um, so right side of the radio, we have some more controls. On off volume. Okay, and we have a DC uh, 5 volt in to charge the internal battery. Here we're charging lights, so when you're charging, you know. The solar panel is very uh, reactive, so if I cover this, you can kind of see how reactive that solar panel is. Auxiliary in jack. As you notice, there is no headphone jack, unfortunately. Um, here is a wrist strap, carry strap. Top of the radio has a few things. You saw the dedicated flashlight switch. We have a USB input for your flash drives to play your MP3s. We also have a micro SD card slot for the uh, MP3 function also. We have a mode select, MP3, FM, AM, shortwave. Pretty solid feeling switch. We will leave it on FM. Tuning wheel is on top. I do like that. It's a big radio, so it's actually very convenient to be on top like that. And my cat's been running around here again. Yeah, I'll have to be dusting this stuff off here. All right. So yeah, it has this really cool tuning wheel. I like it. It moves that very smooth. DSP radio, uh, but does a great job. So uh, let's see, antenna here is uh, not too huge, about 16 inches. And it this locks in here tight, pretty tight. Let me see if I can get it out of here. There we go. And this extends out to 16 and a half inches. And rotates about 90 degrees because um, it stops here and here. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that back down. Like I said, it locks in there nice and flush too with the top of the case. I do like that. It doesn't stick up. All right, so let's go to the back of the radio. Pretty cool. This is the best part. This is the solar panel. This is 20 cells. Uh, I gotta imagine that does a good job of charging the battery. I like this diamond cut pattern on the back here. And then this pivots out. You can see you can actually get unscrew the solar panel, but you can't get this case open. I think there's a, you must have a special tool to knock the tabs loose. I don't have that tool to open it up. But there you go. There's your solar panel next to your radio. So you could actually have this in the sun charging away like this and radio playing. So that's kind of a neat feature. I do like that. And since we're on the back here, I'll show you what it says. It has the bands, FM, AM, shortwave, uh, USB player, it says right there, TF player, and then your frequencies, made in China. And the really cool feature of this radio is this. This is a battery compartment for optional AA battery use for four AA batteries. So if your internal battery dies or isn't charged enough, you can throw in the optional AA batteries and it'll run off of those instead. What a great feature. It's awesome. I didn't know it had that, so um, I was very happy when the radio arrived and I saw that. So very cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about FM reception. The FM reception report. FM sensitivity is just okay. It found about 40 stations, just to below average. Average is about 48 for an average analog radio. This is DSP. I thought it would do better, but there is a little, um, we call it uh, gold at the end of the rainbow here, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, FM selectivity was just okay also. So it's got a two-star rating, but that's because it only found 40 stations. But out of those 40 stations, most of those stations locked in beautiful, nice, bright, clear, loud sounds. Um, with with uh, no detectable drifting with this DSP. So just amazing how it locked in the stations and sounded nice, bright, and clear. Um, I think that was probably the reason what was eating up the sensitivity is when you found a strong station, you can move this dial quite a bit before another station would kick in. But when it was kicking, it would stay in and it'd be nice, loud, and clear. I was picking up some semi-local stations with it, and that was nice. So, I mean, I'd like to give it a two and a half star rating, but I'm gonna still keep it at two because it's, it is what it is, but still a great DSP radio for FM, you will like it. Um, so get that out of the way there. So that's the FM. So let's go do a uh, radio test with Radio Tatterbird. I think we're at 92 point. Uh, turn this on, let's go to 
down here. I think I'm transmitting at 92.9 FM. Okay, for you guys who don't know, I use a C-Crane transmitter, FM transmitter 2, and I use an MP3 player hooked up to it to do an audio test. I can hear something playing. There it is. The dial's fairly accurate, 92.9 is where I'm at, and you can see where this is, 91 to 95, so I think I'm right on the money. Okay, great. So you got an idea of the audio. Go ahead and just turn that off. Turn off the transmitter. Okay, so let's go ahead and explore some shortwave. I don't think we'll hear anything tonight, but we'll go ahead and extend the antenna and see if we do hear anything. And we'll go to shortwave all the way. And I'm going to hook up my little wires to some downstairs, sub-level. It's a little Texan PL380 wire. And we'll see if we can pick anything up. Let me see if I can pivot this a bit. No, probably not. Okay, so let's go ahead and tune top of the band and see if we'll find anything if we're going to. Now, during the day, I picked up about a dozen stations, which was awesome. So it is a, it is a usable shortwave band, but during the day. I don't think I'm going to pick up anything tonight. I'll do a daytime band scan. I 
Okay. Okay, I wasn't gonna find anything, but yeah, it does pick up stations. I was pretty impressed. So we'll go ahead and click that off. We'll go to AM. Okay. So I found out the daytime AM on this thing is amazing. Uh, very good local and semi-local reception on AM. Uh, very impressed with it. So I think we're gonna oops, do very well on AM. So at the top of the scale here, work our way down. Our current time is 10.44 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. And we'll go ahead and see if we can tune in. Rejoin Scott Graham in our Progressive Insurance Studios. Customers who switch to Progressive can save an average of over six hundred fifty dollars. Call or click today and find out if you can save so, hundreds. This is six seventy to score. I think I had Nashville in there, but right, it was difficult. Guys, we return, gonna... There's some storms going on. I could hear the lightning. From today's NFL action. This is Westwood One's coverage of the National Football League. Sports Radio six seventy to score. It's date night, and roughly twenty one million people are going out. That's millions of people. Hey, learn more about the WP Carey Business Graduate Programs online. Text MARKET to 79645. That's M-A-R-K-E-T oh, to 79645. Are you considering a safe to secure your valuables or firearms? Let's face it, so safe are not very attractive. Cincinnati, they usually Ohio. end up getting stuck in the... 300 miles? Wouldn't it be great nice. if there was a safe that had... So, again, dial accuracy is pretty good. It's an heirloom. They do have a very close personal friend. Him and his wife were both armed. This is 720 WGN. Which surfaced on jihadi forums with what three? Do you have a love-hate relationship with your credit card? You love the freedom and convenience the credit card gives you. But you hate the high interest rates. And let's face it, they're high. 17, 18, even 20% APR. That's pretty outrageous. WGR Detroit. This is uh, 270 miles. I know Zuma Radio comes in. You can get a much lower rate. As low as 5.89. This is 7.40. CFCM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Usually has music playing, which sounds nice. So it's a good radio. And I think we'll get WSB. Yeah, it just jumps right, 740 to 760. Subject credit approval rating zero. Counter into conditions of one. CPLW, Windsor, Ontario, 270 miles. 800. AM. Excuse me. Did it work, did it? And so you should let it. Did, was it packed when you were in the movie theater? No, there was hardly anybody there. Yeah, so I think that was a WCCO. waste. I don't understand no, it. it wasn't a waste because this, this, this film came out of the movie. WCCO is uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. 
what you and your family have sacrificed for this nation cannot be recovered, and I'm very thankful that we live in a time when there's heroes like your dead husband to defend us. Can you uh, talk to me about how did you meet Winge and Luke? Uh, first I wanted to thank you because um, I heard my friend you always bring up my husband's name and his partner is Rafael Reynolds. I okay. appreciate it. This is WGY. So playing with DSPs jumps around a little bit. This is 810, uh, Albany, New York, 740 miles. I remember when I first met him, right? He was a baseball player. Does it just a matter of how long it can coast in the box office, as I mentioned earlier? Were you with him when he wanted to become an NYPD officer? I'm, I'm sorry? Uh, were you married when he became a police officer? Louisville, Kentucky, yes, I 300 miles. Him, uh, uh, since I met him, he, he, he was already a uh, police officer. Great. And uh, when these terrible events took place... 850, uh, KOA Denver, 890 miles. Many Sweet. Times part of what a police officer goes through, especially in New York City. But can you tell us the events of how you were notified? De la pièce slave. Le show s'appelle Young Ness. C'est de la performance complète. C'est de la danse. Il y a de la... Well, that's pretty clear. That's CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. 460 miles. Oh, by the way, so, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. 890. I'm just going to kind of cruise up the dial because a couple things I want to show you. We're going to do some full bands against this radio because it's, it's a lot of fun. Radio is pretty sensitive. I'm just going to cruise up the dial pretty quick now. Thank 
sobre os jornalistas americanos que revelaram o escândalo Watergate que forçou o presidente Okay, I think it's 16.30. So, yeah, it taps out about 16.20 during the day and 16.30 in the evening. So, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and turn that off. We're going to showcase the TransFlash card. Now, it, it says it supports up to 32 gigabytes. Um, I got a little, I don't know, 4 gig, 8 gig here. 8 gig, okay. So, the only thing about this is when you use this, um, you're just going to use this as a table radio because it sticks up out of there a little bit. I hate for it to break off. Um, so that's the only thing I like about it. I wish it was more flush, or at least even with these switches, uh, for some protection. But let's go ahead and go to MP3 mode, and I would use this to listen to like old time radio, maybe some um, audio books or something you put on there in case of emergency. You got something to listen to. It's not a bad thing to have. Or you get one of these here. I'll show you. You pick up one of these guys here. Um, what is this? A uh, really tiny uh, flush fitting USB thumb drive, and it would only stick up a little bit too, but be probably more durable. Um, and have 16 gigs of music and stuff, so you could do that also. Something I thought I'd show you and share with you. So let's go ahead and turn this MP3, turn it on. Now, as gunshots echo across the windswept, snow-covered reaches of the wild northwest, Quaker Pop wheat and Quaker Pop rice, the breakfast cereal shot from guns, present the challenge of the Yukon. It's Yukon King, swiftest and strongest lead dog of the north of the lake. Step, we cake up, sing us a pack of we the sun. What about a cream? Tom Langdon, Josh. Torn said I was to come in and be a witness. Oh, oh all right. <laughs> you, you got everything the way I told you, Jenkins? And its 98,000 dealers bring you Mr. Jack Benny in tonight's presentation of Suspense. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Red Skelton. In response to requests from millions of people, I'm sorry we say no. We present the program anyway. <laughs> Yep. Shortage keep you in? No, when I couldn't get any gas, I just filled my tank with lighter fluid. <laughs> Did your car run? No, but it made the prettiest blue flame. <laughs> well, look, what are you going to do this coming week? Well, pause, play. Flying to Washington, D.C. tonight. I've been asked. Back forward. Good, this is red. Hollywood. It's time now for John Lund as. Johnny Dollar. Hi, Chet Graham, Johnny. Who? Wake up, boy. Chet Graham claims New York Mutual. Oh, hi, Chet. How are things? Bad. Jo Green Hornet. <laughs> so you get the idea. It's fun. I enjoy it. Um, okay, so let's do some final thoughts on the audio box RX2. So cool little solar radio. I'm digging it. It's worth 17 bucks. Uh, go out there, search eBay if you want it, grab it. Um, mm -hmm. It's not on Amazon, I don't believe. But uh, yeah, I love this thing. I think it's cool. Um, let me take that out of there. Uh, I mean, everything about it. I mean, you got a nice bright light, internal battery. Everything tonight, I was just running off the internal battery. So definitely has a decent battery in there. Like I said, I'm guessing it's a three cell, 600 milliamp hour battery. Uh, but yeah, a nice big solar panel there. Really digging that for charging the battery. That's awesome. Um, okay, during the day, the AM was very good, like almost amazing, and shortwave was really good too. So what we're going to do is the daytime band scan in the future for this radio, and you can see how well this thing works. Um, overall, I'm pretty impressed uh, with the radio for the money. I mean, under 20 bucks, you're getting a lot of features and a lot of fun, So, and you're getting emergency radio at the same time. I just can't uh, find anything too negative, except it is not very portable. <laughs> It is the giant radio in the hand, like the brick. Like you can make a brick house with this thing. It's just got a bunch of them together. But uh, I'm liking it. It does get a recommended buy for me. The DSP is really good on FM. Um, it's decent AM. Tonight was difficult to tell. But if you listened, it was picking up a lot of faint stations. And it does very good on the AM band. Like I said, I'm really happy with it. Uh, like I said, I wish it did have nighttime shortwave. It doesn't. But uh, during the day, it does pick up quite a bit on the shortwave bands. 
So our shortwave band does pretty good there. So and I'm happy to have this MP3 playback. It's pretty basic, but it's there. And you know what? If you're like in a pinch and you, you have no entertainment, but this radio um, and you have stations, but then you have that optional music play or, or what I was just showing you. So I do think that's nice to have. And especially if you're traveling or if you're stuck in a situation where you don't have your home and you're, you know, you're sleeping in a shelter for some reason because of floodwaters or something. It's just nice to have something like this as a companion radio. So I like it. Alrighty. Well, if you enjoyed the presentation of this video, give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate that. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you like audio box, cool. And you want to know more about it, hit subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of future videos. I put one out every evening for you. Uh, three, comment below what you think about the audio box RX2. I like it. You may not, but tell me what you think. And four, just come on over to Patreon after hours with Todd Ebert. And uh, where we talk about radios, we uh, have old-time radio shows like you heard on the SD card, uh, all open for you to the public. There are some patron-only posts, but a lot of it's free content. If you wish to support the channel, more power to you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, with that said, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, and goodbye.